Hey guys, welcome back to the Sparkle Eats Kitchen. Today I'm giving you a great slow cooker recipe. And this is a bit different because we're using ribs, but we're not doing them in your usual way that you probably use them. And that's by barbecuing them. So we're putting this all together, a whole meal with veggies and then a gravy. So this is a nice hearty meal for the fall on those chilly nights. So here I have some bone-in country style ribs and these are on sale this week. And I'm using about two pounds. You can go up to three pounds if you want. So this is a full two pounds right here. And I'm just going to season them on both sides with some seasoned salt and then just some freshly ground black pepper. And then just transfer these to your slow cooker. You want a pretty large slow cooker because we're putting quite a few ingredients in here. So just put these in the bottom. No need to grease it or anything. Okay, now here I have some uh, red potatoes. You can use russet, you can use yellow, whatever you want. And I'm using about one pound, so that's four or five potatoes. And I just quarter these or cut them into eighths depending on the size. Then I have some just baby carrots, about one cup. That's about a half of a bag. Then I have three celery stalks that I just cut into pieces. And then one onion that you want to coarsely chop. You don't want to do it too fine. Then I'm going to add a half of a cup of chicken broth. Then we have a couple cloves of garlic. Some paprika. And then just some more seasoned salt and freshly ground black pepper. So we get that seasoning on top of our veggies. Then just kind of distribute this evenly. And then you just wanna cover this, cook it on low for six to eight hours, maybe probably go closer to eight, that's what mine needed to do, just to make sure all those veggies are nice and cooked. Or you can do it on high for four to six hours, depending on how much time you have. And then once that's done, we have a couple more things we're gonna add. So our slow cooker has gone for about eight hours and now everything is nicely cooked and hot. So what you wanna do now is we're taking all of the veggies and the ribs out of the slow cooker. So you wanna do that pretty carefully. But what we're going to do with the juices in here once we get everything out is we're going to make a nice gravy with what's in there. Now that most of our vegetables are out of here, this is a nice start to our gravy. So now I'm just going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup and then you just wanna to start to dissolve this. So now we're going to just carefully add back in our meat and our veggies, give them a good stir, let that reheat for a little bit and cook for about 20 or so more minutes if you have the time, if not, you can serve it right away. And then you have your whole meal that's ready in the slow cooker, ribs in a very different way with veggies and the whole family's going to love it.